Hallelujah. Welcome to the very last week in the month of June. Today is Monday, 27th. We thank God for a wonderful month in June, and this is the very last one. I hope yesterday we all slept well. Our devotion this morning is taken from Psalm 44. The Old Testament reading is Judges chapter 2. And then the New Testament scripture is the gospel according to St. Luke's. St. Luke's chapter 13, 1 to 9. But what we'll dwell on today is the book of Judges, Judges chapter 2. We want to take just the initial verses and see how God will inspire us. Judges chapter 2, I read. Says the angel of the Lord came out from Gilgal to Bokim and said, I have made you to go out of Egypt and brought you into the land which I swear to your fathers and said, I will never break my covenant with you. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Yea, ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I said, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall be as stones in your sight, and gods, and their gods shall be a snail unto you. Hallelujah. God is telling us the story about the Israelites. What he's saying that he brought them out of Egypt, and God says that he wants to keep his covenant with them. Unfortunately, the Israelites have not kept their part of the covenant. And what is the result? God is saying that the foreigners will be as stones in your sight. That is not a pleasant thing, but that's what happens to us as Christians if we don't keep the, our part of the covenant. God is telling them that he has kept his covenant and is left with them to obey. Unfortunately, they didn't see it that way. As we begin the very last week in June, God is telling us that there is a two-way to the covenant. We keep our part and he keeps his He's a faithful God, so he has always kept it, but that it depends on you and I. If you want to enjoy the service of God, if you want to enjoy the relationship, let's keep our part of the covenant. Let's keep doing the good things as Christians. Let's keep walking in God. Let's not behave like the Israelites, like the Israelites did, but let's keep God in our hearts. Everything that we do, let's not forget that we are Christians first. In all we do, God is watching us. Will we keep the covenant? Is the question he's asking us this morning. As you begin the week, tell yourself that there is a covenant to be kept. God has fulfilled this, but there's left with you and I. Let's keep it up and see that God being a faithful God will always reward us at the end of the day. I thank you. I bless you for listening to me. And I hope that going forward, the covenant with God will be kept in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for what, we have, what God has bestowed us. I pray that you have a faithful day. God bless you. Meet again. Bye-bye.